Ryan, it's been a whirlwind week for you. Can you just talk us through how mad it's been? Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's been a very crazy week. Um, great feelings on and off the pitch. Um, I think um, scoring the two goals on my first league start this season was a great feeling, and then to go and better that by witnessing the birth of my son was was a great feeling. Um, I've had a lot of support and a lot of messages, which I've been been really grateful for. Um, they've meant a lot so yeah it's, it's been a bit of a whirlwind how are harley and steph most importantly yeah they're both doing really well uh, they've both been home two days now babies more or less just doing what a, a newborn baby does sleeping eating changing his nappy and that's about it but yeah they're both doing really well and um, we're just enjoying this time together and how's your little three-year-old taking to the the baby brother yeah, I think um, it's a little bit strange for him, obviously, because he's used to having all the attention, but um, we've made a massive fuss over him, and um, he's just started coming to terms with him. He started touching, he kissed the little baby yesterday, which was, was good for us to see. So, uh, yeah, I think he's just going to be one of them, as you'll get used to it the more time he spends with the baby. You've told, told this story a couple of times, but on the pitch, getting the information and then making the call to come off. Just talk us through that again, how that process was. I believe you, you'd yeah. have come pitch side, didn't need to get it to you. Well... My, I seen my dad come down um, and I seen him do like the action he just gone like the waters are broken and I was like <laughs> so I was like oh you need to get the message to the manager um, so I was carried on before I knew it I was in the box the ball's come in diving out a goal and then the emotions just ran wild then um, I ran over to the manager and he went don't worry he said we'll get you off now um, I come off the pitch I was straight down the tunnel got my flip flops on keys, phone ran to the car and then just got to the hospital as quickly and safely as possible. I suppose you don't think about it at the time, but this has gone worldwide, hasn't it? I mean, you've had tweets and seen stories, Washington Post, India Today, it's gone everywhere, yeah. you and your kid with a baby, it's incredible, isn't it? I mean, when when I come out of um, having the baby and then we'd, we'd settled in Nathan and I was told I had to go because I couldn't stop overnight, I got home and I looked at my phone and I was like, <laughs> I, like I couldn't believe it, I was like, the the reaction I got from it, 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 was, uh, it was amazing and it was something that like, I'll probably remember and it'll be a great story to tell my little boy when he's older. And obviously as well, at the end of it all, football, you scored two goals first start you mentioned, you, mean, you must have been buzzing just to make that impact coming back, so I know you've been working really hard to, to get in the side. Yeah, I mean of course, I mean, um, I've mean, i had a couple of setbacks this season, got injured in pre-season and then I got my red cards um, and then obviously I hurt my hand and football broke my hand. So it's just been one of them. It's been a bit of an up down time for me, which has been hard. But um, like I said, I mentioned Max. He's been he's been really good for helping me. All the rest of the boys have, and I've worked hard and coming in early. And the gaffer giving my chance, and I'd like to think that uh, I repaid him for giving my chance. So that's a big thing for me now. Focus on my football, get my head down, work hard. Hopefully, I show people what I can do. And then uh, off the pitch, I've got my little boy to go home to. Um, and help um, with the messies and the other little man. You mentioned Max. Uh, he's a cracking lad, isn't he? You know, I think people have judgments on him from what's gone before and stuff. But he is such a good lad, and he's been a special friend to you as well. Yeah, I mean that happens in football. People are gonna like you. People aren't gonna like you. But at the end of the day, he's he's given no reason for people not to like him. He's he's a great lad around the club. He he's, he works hard. He's a great trainer, and he always gives one hundred and ten percent on the pitch, which I think most of the fans can see and appreciate. So. Yeah, he's been a great help for me, and then to see his message in the hospital was uh, was great. So yeah. How are you feeling ahead of Robin? Because I imagine there's been a bit of sleepless nights. So you managed to get some sleep in. Well, stuff. to be fair, like I said, all the baby's done is sleep. To be fair, so I was up last night for an hour or two, but we're travelling down tonight, so I'll be in the hotel, so I'll get a good night's sleep in. Just really looking forward to get back on the pitch and hopefully crop up with another goal or an assist or something like that another celebration in there as well yeah obviously I'll have to think of something but uh, I'll sure I'll come up with something